Night City. Fucking major leagues. Happy now, Jackie? Yep, I fucking hide. Time to bail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. Hello and welcome to the channel, this is Edge Runner Code, and I'm here to show you the biggest difference between the graphic quality of the 2018 footage with the 2020s. On this first scene, there's a lot of things going on. We have a whole bunch of new lighting sources, like these blue lights on the top, the yellow lights on the pole. You can also see some reflections, the, those pink lights are probably being reflected from uh, some light source that is behind the camera. And this light is also, also shading some colors on the police officer on his uh, right side there. And talking about the police officer, the 3D model for the characters have improved quite substantially since 2018. Uh, the, the model is m much more complex and which a lot of more assets like the radio, uh, the, the cap, the, the glasses and all. Uh, the weapons also look really great, very convincing, both in sizing and shape. Even the holographic 3D model is vastly improved. It looks higher harass and with uh, more details, more polygons and all. The reflections on the street are also vastly improved. We can see multiple light sources being blended in. Uh, those blue and pink lights are sort of blending really nicely. It, it's overall a really, really big improvement from what we've seen earlier. On this shot from inside Dax Deshaun uh, cars, we can see a lot of things going on here as well. The volumetric fog is way better than what it used to be, it's much more realistic. The outside lighting going inside the, the car is also improved vastly. Uh, the textures on his jacket also are much better, it's much more realistic, it almost feels like it's leather. Uh, the arm is pretty much the same because I guess metal is, is fairly easy to get it quite right but the the black parts of his prosthetics is much more refined like the texture is better and the sunglasses are absolutely stunning now you can see his eyes through the sunglasses they feel real and even his watch is way better now it's uh it has some lightning it has some depth to it uh, the cold parts are way more interesting now uh, you can see some graffiti on the background, probably because these two shots are not on the exact same spot. I highly, I, I really think they are not on the same location. So there's also that. And the interior of the car overall, it's pretty much the same, even though it's a little bit different. So it looks like on the past two years, they were tweaking the interiors and the assets they have. They probably used some placeholders back then. And even the mouth movement looks way more natural. I cannot imagine how they managed to pull this off, because different from many games that is like a linear storyline, on Cyberpunk it's an open world, so you'd expect endless uh, conversations and uh, animations from the characters, and I don't think it's realistically to have all of them being recorded uh, on, on acting, on, on human actors. Uh, so I cannot even imagine how they pull this off, honestly. Here on the entrance of the Reaper Dock Shop, it used to be already really good back in uh, 18, but the thing you can notice, the biggest difference here is the they are not reusing a lot of assets. Uh, on the cabinet you can see there's a lot of copy-paste cats and, and those boxes, those yellow boxes. Uh, they're exactly the same, just uh, in different places. Uh, on the 2020 uh, video there's a lot of thing going on, we have this enormous amount of assets. Uh, we can still see that the cat's still there on the on like on the top right corner, just one unit of it. Uh, there's this lion that's still present, uh, but all the other assets are much more like fine grain placed, uh, like really really handcraft uh, placements, and it just feel way more uh, natural and organic. Like it's much more believable environment now. And on the Reaper Dock office itself, there isn't much difference I could I could spot other than the vast improvements of lighting reflections, because you can see the light blending in much smoother. Uh, on the left, we had some those super sharp uh, shadows, and on the right, we have more the this diffuse lightning uh, that that kind of being all around the environment that you can feel the the lights filling the environment. It's not like those sharp uh, shadows at all. They're all, they're all much more blurred and high, more high quality. 
The Reaper Doctor Victor is pretty much the same other than his tattoos got colored in now. Uh, they looked very cheap and prison style and now they, 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 they look really sci-fi. Some depth to the, the tattoos on his arm. Uh, his glasses are also much more realistic as well. And even the device that he's, uh, that he's gonna strap to your arm is more uh, detailed, a little bit higher textures and more uh, and you can see the shadows occluding cables and also here are some shots of the scavenger missions where you and Jackie try to rescue some girl that has been kidnapped for her implants and specifically here the biggest difference I could spot is the now that we have way more gore a lot of blood spatters going on on all over the place the light that comes from outside the building also looks more natural the lights from the computer also reflect on the surface is a little bit better apparently from my opinion the ground is a little bit less shiny so it, it's uh, it looks more realistic as well pay really close attention to jackie's hand on the weapon now we have the weapon being illuminated by the lights the led lights from the monitors which was not the case uh, previously on this famous bathroom scene, it's not too much difference as well. It's pretty much the same. Uh, the biggest difference are these: the this injection device now has some light source, and this light source will cast light and shadows on V's hand, which is a really really cool addition. Again, we have some polishment of the assets. On the background, you can see some uh, containers for all food suppliers, which is a company from inside the game. The quality of the plastic sheet. The girl that is taking the shot also has these new uh, implants on her chest. The shadows here are also a lot more dispersed, which indicates better lightning. For this scene, they are pretty much identical. Uh, the main difference are new textures on the guns, higher quality on the cybernetic implants on his face. The lighting is uh, more diffuse and it will, it will illuminate a little bit more realistically instead of those super strong lights. The jacket now has a little bit more texture in some places like on those, those shoulder pads. And uh, we can also have a glimpse of uh, different uh, options that you can choose on your gameplay. On the 2018 gameplay, the V chooses to give the guy the chip and on 2020, she blows his head off. And it's also amazing how Jackie reacts differently on those two situations. After the guy is killed, he instantly switched targets and moved his, his uh, left hand away from the dead guy. And for the final shot uh, of this video, we have some, some mixed feelings about this. We have a lot of good things going on here, like uh, the sky is more complex, we have cloud, we have occlusion from the, the clouds. You can note this by the difference of lightning between the two scenes. Uh, we also have a, more textures on those pipes, a little bit more complexity. Uh, but the bodyguard itself looks way more flat, the textures on him is not that interesting anymore. And especially that military corporate agent is way worse actually. Uh, the, the face is okay -ish, I guess, but the hair is really really messed up. As Digital Foundry pointed out on one of their, their videos, uh, which are which is linked on the video description by the way, if you by any chance haven't watched that, go check that out. It's an absolutely incredible breakdown of all the graphic aspects of the new gameplay footage that was released so make sure to check that out uh so yeah they say that it's probably the the hair the hair shots are probably really well done when you are super close to the subject and they start getting good again when the subject is further away there is this middle ground like this 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 range between not super close and not super far far that the hairs are really, really terrible. And this is something that they might fix on this next four months that they have ahead. And I hope that is the case, because to be fair with you, for my opinion, this is the only thing I could notice that was like giving me not a good vibes for the game. All the rest is so impressive, is so next gen. And I'm so much curious to know how the, this generation consoles will be able to handle all this load because because all this footage regardless if it's uh, 2018 or tw 2020 they are all running in 2080 ti graphic cards so this is some serious hardware that is way way more than uh, what consoles of this generation have so 
I'm I, I cannot wait to see the trade-offs the the console versions will have to deal with. So very likely uh, the drawing distance will be severely less. And I don't know. I just cannot wait. I already ordered uh, the versions for all types of platforms: PC, PS4, and Xbox. And I cannot wait to make a graphic comparison between all those um, those versions of the game. And you right there, if you don't want to miss that uh, content that will come eventually when the game is released, and many, many other cyberpunk content like lore, timeline explaining, and frame by frame analysis of, of every possible footage that I could get my hands on, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of that. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you next time.